Okay, Ron, there's new information about a violent crime that happened last fall just across from Michigan Stadium. Ann Arbor police say two young men from Detroit who were selling candy outside a Michigan football game sexually assaulted a woman at a popular tailgating spot. Here's Rod Maloney with today's new developments in the case. University of Michigan and Ann Arbor pride themselves in having one of the best and most secure college football atmospheres anywhere in the country. And yet last November, a woman at the game came out, crossed the street here, over by the golf course on the other side of this wall in these trees to retrieve something from her car. And while she was there, she was brutally raped and robbed. The 37-year-old Ohio woman left her jacket in the golf course parking lot, and while there, some tailgaters were around, none were close enough to offer any protection or help. While in her vehicle, two men approached her, seemingly out of nowhere, and brutalized her, says Ann Arbor Police Lieutenant Bonnie Thiel. That included uh, forcefully removing her clothing. At one point, one of the uh, suspects actually uh, strangled her, resulting in some momentary loss of consciousness. Later that night, Ann Arbor police arrested 19-year-old Jarrell Childs, who was 18 at the time, of Detroit, who went before a magistrate today charged with first-degree sexual assault, robbery, and larceny. Perhaps more disturbing, arrested with Childs, a 13-year-old from Detroit who went before a juvenile judge in Washtenaw County Court today facing the exact same charges. Ann Arbor PD, with the help of Detroit PD's Special Victims Unit, used DNA to identify both men in the case, which is why it took so long to get to court today. But it's the violence most disconcerting here. In my 24 years here, we've never had an incident of this nature uh, with this type of violence in a public space at any U of M a sporting event. So this was very concerning to us. Now the magistrate today said that Childs was a danger to the community, set the bond at a $75,000 cash bond, which means he has to put up all $75,000 in order to be able to get out of the Washtenaw County Jail. If convicted, he could face 10 years in prison. In the meantime, the 13-year-old was in juvenile court today. Those records are sealed, but he is again facing the same exact charges, but in juvenile court. Back to you. Well, Rod, what led police to these two men in the first place? Well, you know, they didn't have much to go on initially, but then they say the 13-year-old used one of the stolen credit cards at a party store in Detroit. They retrieved the surveillance video, were able to identify the young man, the 13-year-old, who they say gave them the 18-year-old. They did ID, they, they did the DNA samples in order to check that, but had to wait for the rape kit to come back, and that's how they ended up in court here today. Wow, really good police work. Okay, Rod, we appreciate it.